Hi there, and welcome to the HR Hub. I'm Andrea Adams, and for the first time ever, I'm going to do a demo of some software. That is iSpring Learning and Development Software. I'm going to walk through today quickly how easy it is to use in some of the features. Note that it is designed to work on PCs, and if you have a Mac, you'll need to get additional software or partition your drive. Now, to put this in focus, as the shift to L&D in HR is growing, maybe you're also sensing that shift, you may need to consider something like iSpring. Once installed, using iSpring, you can create engaging professional courses, and it features quizzes, videos, interactions, and even role plays. And it's all based on PowerPoint, so it isn't hard or difficult to figure out how to use. So to make this a little more engaging and give me a context in which to create a course, I'm going to create a course on cat grooming. I've had many cats and now I have allergies, but I do remember what it was like to try and groom my cat. So here goes. Here I am at my Cat Grooming 101 course, Comb Without Chaos. I have used a template and as you can see, the whole thing is in PowerPoint, but I've created this one using a slide template. There's many to choose from. I've also added Bonnie the cat as my character who will reappear at least one more time during the course of this demo. And you do that by adding characters here. So the first thing, and all of you will be familiar with, is that we often start out courses with a pre-assessment quiz to find out how much they know so that they can um, hone their learning, but also recognize how much they've learned at the end of the course. So creating quizzes in iSpring is quite easy. Just go over here, create a quiz, and you can make all kinds of different quizzes, multiple choice, true or false, drag and drop, uh, I have created a quiz with two questions in it. What's the most important tool for grooming a cat? And what is the safest way to trim a cat or to trim a cat's nails? Now, when you go back to your presentation, it doesn't really look any different. But when you click on preview here, you will see that, the, that it's actually working. So the next thing I want to show you is video tutorials, where you can use video in a number of different ways to show either content from the web, which is what we're seeing here, or you can go up here in this upper left-hand corner and record your own video and even manage your narration without ever leaving PowerPoint. It makes it very easy to embed the content of subject matter experts in your organization who are helping out with this. So the next thing I want to show you is about interactions. Interactions gives the learner control over what they're learning and how they learn it. I created interactive content here on tools for cat grooming. And you just go up to this interaction button up here. like, And so I've got tools for cat grooming and two options, brushes, and then uh, kidding uh, armor. Um, that you may need for your cat grooming. And it's that simple. Next, I want to show you role play simulations. You have the option of creating role plays to teach learners how to handle challenging scenarios. For instance, I've created a simulation of someone dealing with an angry cat owner. Your learner can practice empathy, offer solutions, and even get feedback on their responses. There are many other resources that you have access to. I've showed you characters, but they've got all kinds of objects and icons that you can use throughout your training. So high five. You now know how to use iSpring. It really is that easy. And I wouldn't actually say you're uh, a broke cat groomer, as this slide would indicate, but let's show it to you from start to end. This is what the learner is going to experience when they engage in your e-learning content. Okay, so here we are. It's our opening slide with Bonnie the cat. We're going to start with our quiz. 
And this is our pre-quiz. In many courses, you want to create a quiz at the end as well. All right, so what is the most important tool for grooming a cat? There are your choices. I'm going to pick treats. Oh, I'm wrong. A brush is the most important tool. All right, what is the safest way to trim a cat's nails? With body armor while they're sleepy? Just don't. Robbing with tuna. I will choose... Just don't. Ah, I'm right. That was the right answer. Okay, and oh, I made the passing level 60% and I didn't get 60%. There was only two questions, so um, I could try again. Okay, this is the section of the video tutorials. Now you can see that there is something I can click on to make this play, but I won't do that right now. Uh, here is the interactive content. This would be the experience of your learners. So I've got two tabs here, but you could have a lot more. This is the role play. Hi there, I'm angry. You, you shaved my cat bald. I want my money back. This is, of course, the right answer. And it would continue going if you built more in it. And now we're done. Or it's over. So you can see just how easy it is. And in just a few minutes, iSpring helped me create a pretty dumb course on cat grooming. So most of you out there are not going to be interested in cat grooming, but going to be interested in doing this in your organization. Check them out if, you need, if you're in the market for something like this. Well, thanks for watching out there. And we will see you next time when I am bringing back some regular content, talking with amazing HR experts about any aspect of HR. So we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.